in the name of God. This is Zohre Mubahed, Senior Reservoir Geologist Consultant, Springer, Carbon Energy and Teleperformance Malaysia. My topic is about evaluation of the fracture density distribution from image logs on simulation sensitivity analysis in fractured reservoir. The first challenges we had in this project is the very test analysis is not enough accurate to describe fracture properties. So we use conventional image logs application, which is a structural analysis, fracture analysis, geomechanical analysis, and but another problem we had, there was not enough knowledge to use this application on field scale, compare, compare and combine with well test analysis. Second challenge was, as you see here, the field is so big, which is around 44 kilometer with 10 image labs. So there was not enough data to do fracture characterization. The third challenges we had, as you know, sigma is the transfer function between matrix and fractures. And FD, which is fracture density, may equal one over A. But there was no real procedure to compute variable sigma, which is a very important parameter to simulate fracture carbonate by using image log fracture density. So our objective in this project is fracture characterization on field scale by using image log, which is FMS, FMI, OBMI, UBI, and petrophysical and reservoir logs. We had a plan to develop a more accurate simulation model by using interpretation of image logs and reservoir logs and petrophysical logs, which is here especially to advance OBM imaging. So uh, with the data we used, we used 10 wells for imaging tools. FMS, FMI, OBMI, and UPI, petrophysical logs, conventional logs, and reservoir logs to, to locate major structural features such as fault, fractures, and bedding in this portion, which is you can see here FMS, FMI, and OBMI, and UBI tools that we did to measure fracture properties. So uh, the first fracture analysis result is fracture orientation, and the second is fracture density. So major fracture features and properties are interpreted by using whole image log and conventional logs. As you see here, the change of, of uh, fracture orientation, you can see here, changing from north east, south east, and north east and south west. You can see the change. And also you can see the change of fracture density, which is highest in this part and lowest this part. Highest in GS119 and lowest in GS318. So the fracture density and in orientation was so important for us for this model so we imported into the simulation model now is now possible to develop a more accurate simulation model of the fracture reservoir by using fracture data from the image logs and in this project we will try to combine this well data and try to come up with the model to evaluate fracture reservoir fields as you see here the measurement is from the scale. The scale is from 0 to 34, and then from blue to red. Here we have 
less fracture density and here we have a uh, highest fracture density and here you see in this part of the field so there is a green so means that here we have uh, highest fracture density which is gs119 and here we have lowest fracture density gs318 which is in this well already validated that shows that the fracture density is high in this part. So uh, they did the correlation between density of fracture well by well in GS119, which is high, had highest number of fractures. And then we compare with the production, it shows that if you have a highest fracture density, you have highest production because in this well, most fracture connected and the number of fractures are high and connected so in in the most zone you have high production in this well so in this project we highlighted uh, the importance of integrated data analysis images open hole production lighting tool and course we had better understanding of importance of image logs data for field scale analysis. We had better understanding of reservoir fracture system and it is on influence on production and verified accurately fracture properties in field scale. In this project, we introduced new way to compute sigma in simulation model from image labs. We had a good match between fracture density and cumulative production data. This study will be used as a standard workflow for other fracture reservoirs. So we received the operation letter from the company that they were happy about it result of the project because in this project the, the result verified accurately fracture properties highlighted image log applications highlighted the importance of integrated data analysis thank you so much for your time